Lagos State Government has revoked the 2018 land use charge. Commissioner for Finance, Dr. Rabiu Olo, who made this known on Wednesday, said the government reverted to pre-2018 land use charges. According to him, the penalties for land use charges for 2017, 2018 and 2019 have also been waived, which translates to a loss of revenue amounting to 5.6 billion naira. A property owned and occupied by a pensioner is therefore exempted from paying land use charge. Number three, also the percentage increase in penalties for defaults in paying land use charge has been reduced as follows. From 45 days to 75 days, it has been reduced from 25% to 10%. From 75 days to 105 days, it has been reduced from 50% to 20%. From 105 days to 135 days, it's been reduced from 100% to 50%. We consider the land use charge reform very necessary at this time to accommodate the agitations of Lagosians uh, and also to reduce the financial pressure on citizen as it relates to land use. The current administration under the leadership of Mr. Governor has decided to review the land use charge law by reversing the rate of the land use charge to the pre-2018 rate while upholding the 2018 method of valuation. We're now joined by Kaya Deotitoju, outgoing chairman, Lekki Peninsula Scheme One Residents Association. Thank you very much for joining us. Just give us your reaction to this decision by the Lagos State Governor. A good one? Thank you very much. Uh, really, this is a welcome development by property owners, both property owners and uh, uh, tenants. Because uh, I could remember in 2000 and. Uh, 18, when this uh, law, LUC, came out, we set up a committee which was headed by me. Uh, what I mean by we, we mean uh, all estates within Lekki Axis, from 1,004 down to Epe, over 100 estates. They made me chairman of the ad hoc committee to, to face government and uh, tell them that uh, that that decision was really positive then, and uh, we argued our position up to the Lagos State House of Assembly. And uh, in fact, number one of our recommendation was what the government had just implemented now, that we should revert to status quo ante, that is, the payment being made in 2017 uh, should, be revert, uh, should be reverted to. And, uh, and that's what uh, Gordon Sanwolu had just uh, Taken verbatim. This is a listing government. And uh, you will see that actually you will really make money because there was evasion. Because of the high listing then, there was evasion and uh, people, there was resentment from people. All right. So people didn't really pay. Okay. Uh, now people will pay. I, I was yeah. going to ask you, um, let's move away from the technicalities to something simpler that people can actually relate with when they hear this uh, information. With this reverse, are you expecting a reduction in house rent? Um, you know, people didn't really pay then because when, uh, when a tax is uh, prohibitive, uh, there will be alienation. People won't pay. There will be evasion and avoidance. So, uh, rent still remain what it is. But what I'm not saying is people will be willing to pay the land use charge because uh, that was what we were paying in 2017. So, how, so how does very this, few how, people pay how does this uh, benefit? 2018, 2019. How does this benefit those who are I'm renting uh, properties? No, it's okay. It's okay because uh, retirees are now exempted. Whereas uh, the, uh, well, the Amber Days distance didn't exempt the, the retirees. All right. What is I your... had a friend who retired from the uh, federal government uh, and uh, ha having a house in Lekki here. 
when he went to the AUC uh, office, they said he must, he must pay someone who has retired for over three years. So, and he was living in his house alone. It, he wasn't using it as commercial. Now with some loose uh, pronouncement, then uh, such people will not be paying. All right. What, what would be your advice to government to increase revenue? Because obviously this is going to cut, um, cut back uh, some of their income. No, 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 no. It will, it, will, it will give them more revenue because there won't be evasion and avoidance anymore. And people will be willing to pay on time. More so that uh, the penalty for late payment is now being slashed down. So, I mean, this is a welcome uh, development from uh, both the landowner and uh, the tenants. All right, before I let you go, uh, while some believe it is politically motivated, um, what is the guarantee that this will not be revisited and the decision again revoked? What is uh, politically motivation in this? When uh, uh, the landlords and tenants cut across uh, political parties. I said this thing is good for, uh, uh, for the masses of our people. So irrespective of whether you are PDP or APC or Labour Party. So once you are a landlord, and again, if you are not a landlord, once you are a tenant, you know, the, the, the relief trickle down, the, you know, the whole strata. All right, Mr. Kaya Deotitoji, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news. Thank you very much.